Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today you know that we are back again with another remake videos of the Foca Analysis video that I've made few months ago and you definitely can see the singer that who needs no introduction at all. And we don't even need to say her name. Just listen to her voice. Alright, enough of chit chat, let's just get into the video. The first segment will be low register. Whitney Houston possess a developed low register. It's not great or exceptional, but it's far from mediocre either. Whitney Houston was good at projecting her low, especially down to G sharp 3. Below G3, her low register become EV and inconsistent. Whitney gained some support and consistency below G3 as her voice start deteriorating or when she grew older. What a nice and developed low register. I love the way she sounds down there. And let's move to the other segment. Next segment would be belting. Whitney Houston was a truly spectacular belter. Her chest development was truly fantastic. Her belting sounds rich, powerful, solid, and full of clarity. No wonder she was called the voice or known as the voice due to how powerful her belting is and due to how much intensity she carried on her belting. Whitney is a typical of heavy belter, so she mostly sounds very rounded and very bold. At her prime, she was consistent up to F5 and can handle those notes even up to G5 properly. And of course, there's nothing to nitpick about her mid belt as well. Let's see. It's just sad that she still get discredited by some people from the community that she's trained above E5 but the fact that in her prime she could handle lots of A5 until G5. Like her upper belt was truly spectacular and people overlook her great moments in this. Take a look at this. So definitely an amazing belter, one of the best belters in pop music. Her chest development, her breath control, her technique, her growth, everything 
is really well controlled. Speaking of major weakness, I don't think Whitney ever had any. It's just that she could get pushed, constricted, or tense, but in her prime, she was definitely a very consistent belter. It happens occasionally, like it's not always there because she was a typical of heavy belter or chesty belter. Of course, things like that would happen. Okay, let's move to the other segment. The next segment is head voice. I would say it's the most controlled register of Whitney, where she had the least vocal issues. Her head voice was really full, rounded, carried operatic ring, and such versatility. She could also utilize lots of complex riffs and runs and types of various types of vocal dynamic. Like truly one of the best head voice in pop music, if not the best. I'm confident to say that it's the most developed part of her voice. Let's check it out. So truly a remarkable head voice. I don't think I have any comments left on her head voice. Like it's truly amazing. Now let's move to the other segment. Moving to the other segment that is vocal riffs and runs or vocal agility. Whitney is a just simply known as a great belter or head voice user. She's also known as a good river. Her runs are influenced in gospel music, I'd say. Her runs are clean, fluid, fast, precise and also full of clarity. Let's check them out. Inflections, you know, inflections mean, ah, mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah, you know, that's in, you know, that's run. What a wonderful vocal runs. Speaking of vocal dynamic or volume control, Whitney is one of the great example of it. Whitney could utilize various types of vocal dynamic. Let's see them. <laughs> I think that's the end of the vocal analysis video of Whitney Houston. The moral value from this video is, is to stand her and give the credit she deserves and respect for everything she's done for us. She will always be remembered and will never be forgotten.
and thank you guys for watching my video if you guys have some disagreement you can comment down below and we can discuss it peacefully all right guys thank you so much for watching bye